Hello everyone. Welcome. Storm Reach guards huddle at their barricades. The stench of this is Imorgu. Hosting DDO stream this evening. From Thalanus. Um, hey Mari. Titan. Balloon Guy, Drakazra, and everybody else who's lurking. We're going to start here in Devil Assault. Currently playing Shalana, my uh, epic fighter. I can switch to one of my other characters uh, if that fits whatever's going on, but uh, at the moment I'd like to get Shaw back to cap. Didn't quite make it over the weekend with the XP bonus. Wanted to, was trying to. Didn't quite get there. Is anyone else seeing video problems or is it just me? Well, um, I have a lot of drop frames. Not sure what's going on. Let's see if I can reload my other screen here. See if it's uh, everything or just Twitch being Twitch. Hopefully, regardless, I am uh, recording correctly. It doesn't do me any good to talk to you if there's video issues. It shows me as live, but then it says there's a problem. I see you. I just uh, submitted a problem report. Let's see if they can figure out. Yep. My drop frames are going down now, so it should be not on my side. Oh, that's good. Glad video is working for at least somebody now. I'll have to reload my other computer here in a second. See if it's working over there. And Pog, I'm not sure the answer to your question. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I 
do know that it's annoying that when the Twitch isn't working right. I'm just doing an epic normal character level 25. Just a relaxing way to warm up. Hopefully get some decent loot. Thanks, Sway. My other computer still isn't loaded the video. It's still black over there. So I'm glad at least a couple people say the video is working again. Um, not sure what's going on. I haven't changed anything on my side. Had a bunch of drop frames, so I'm guessing it's just a Twitch glitch which happens from time to time. I'll reload this again. No, I'm doing epic. I'm level 25, so that will not work. What just happened? I reloaded and I got one of Cordovant's archives. That was odd. Hey, skunk. There we go. Now I see video on my other machine. That's good. Hopefully that was just a s slight twitch issue that went away and we're going to be fine now. I was watching somebody earlier this morning, I think, that uh, somebody I follow was hosting and their internet completely dropped. They were trying to do a 12 hour stream and their internet just completely dropped. So they had to get on their phone and let everybody know what was going on. It was odd. Yeah, video's working fine now. Check my stats again. Let's see. Yeah, drop frames are holding pretty steady, so that's good. They're not increasing. Welcome back, Blog. Hopefully Twitch has settled down now and everybody can just relax, enjoy. So I can switch to another character if uh, we have people wanting to play at lower levels, different levels. So blue guy, if you want to do 12-ish, I can switch to something after this. I think I have a rogue in that range. Um, that's good, Titan. Yeah, I'm open to playing whatever. Um, just I only have a certain spread of characters. What? You're watching a Blu-ray? You're watching a Blu-ray? That's... When's the last time I watched something? Off a disc. Well, what is it? There's the fast forward warning. He 
alien? Yeah. Yes, I was watching Alien off of Blu-ray. Looks like the original theatrical or the balloon guy. Okay, balloon guy, that's cool. Anybody else on Thalanus want to join us? Level 12-ish? We'll run something, I don't know. So welcome to Twitchy Tuesdays, I'm Simorgu, part of the community stream team, which means I am just another player, no other special status other than I get to stream on this channel. That's it. Appreciate you hanging out with me this evening. Hey Quarter Quarterman, how's it going? That's cool, Spy. <laughs> Ooh, release notes. That's good. That's a good sign. Does that mean we have uh, Lamani up or incoming? So you'll be showing us tomorrow on the weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. Awesome. So, yeah, Temple of Elves only evil Thursday is the goal. Cool. I may actually get on the money for that. I don't know, Blue Guy. I'll have to see um, after I finish this quest what uh, I have in the 12 range. Then I will let you know. Oh, you wanted a pike in here? Okay. What? I left somebody alive. Oh, there's two of them. Yep. It's not perfect, but it does work. There's a delay. Hey, 
Hey, Simon. Hello. To Croatia. That's cool. What time is it there? And bad for you. Uh, wilderness yeah, Adventures don't wilderness have... Delay. Yeah, there's a delay. That's why I'm not chatting back in-game, because it gets funny trying to keep up that way. I just keep doing it this... <clears throat> doing it on stream. Causes less problems for me that way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they just ha they don't have difficulties. They're all just one difficulty. did say he's going to be back on Galanda, I believe. Is that what he said? Uh, tomorrow, and then after that we'll look at probably having Temple of Unlimited Evil slash U25 previews from Lamania. Which will be interesting. That's cool, Simon. There's several of us who really enjoy playing DDL. I've never actually tried Lord of the Rings Online. I thought about it, but uh, just haven't. I started playing this, and after a couple of false starts, got hooked on it, and then it's just where I stay. Haven't felt like trying too much more. Ah, cool. That's cool, Mary. So it's fairly late there. I'm just curious, because I know that uh, Big Jim gets on from the Philippines here and there, and uh, Ryoreng sometimes gets on from Japan. I know there's some Aussies that play, and all that so it's just interesting to get a feel for which different time zone part of the world are watching yeah I like DDO's combat um, I like that it's based on D and pen and paper D&D &D, of course the flexibility of the character creation and customization modification all that stuff is fun so yeah It is fun. Yeah, that's my uh, dragon cam. There's a bearded dragon. Is what's different about combat in DDO than Lord of the Rings, Wise and Men? was laying in the bottom of the cage. The past couple weeks he's been in his hammock, which is much easier to see him in. I had to move the camera earlier to make sure. Hmm. Just faster paced, huh? Turn based. Hmm. Interesting. I hadn't realized that. I thought it was going to be the same thing, just basically different skin. I didn't realize it was that different. Like I said, I haven't actually tried Lord of the Rings. I just play DDO. I tend to focus on one game at a time, so that's 
the other reason. Oh yeah, there's plenty of stuff. Cordovan was saying they're targeting Thursday for Lamania. He was working on release notes at the moment. Yeah, if you have the DDO forms in the Lamania section, there is a uh, link on how, the, how to get the client and all that. Yeah, you might as well download it ahead of time, get it all started, so you're ready when it goes live. That's cool, balloon guy. I've got Lamania loaded. Warlock isn't confirmed that the, the timeline for Warlock isn't confirmed yet. Oh, it doesn't work. The mine doesn't work for you, Mary? Hmm. I actually loaded the money clan for the uh, Mimic event preview and it was over by the time I got it all set up and downloaded and everything, so. We shall see. Yeah, I saw a post not too long ago in the DDO forums, I can't remember which thread it was in, that basically gave, here's what we know on timelines. And it's basically U25 preview this month, U25 hopefully within the next month or so, and then after that there's some other stuff that is not really been detailed communication about exactly when. There's been some targets, like they're working on this, that, and the other, but nothing solid on exactly when it all hit. certainly make some people happy, skunk. To admit, I'm not one that really cares about uh, warlock or uh, gnomes at the moment. Maybe I will once they're finally in the game and I understand why they're so interesting, but at the moment they just don't do anything for me. Yay, loot. Ooh, a tope has a proof against disease 10. How useful. There you go, Sway. That's part of the picture, because you do not want to start over on Lamania. If uh, you have a character you want to just take over and see how it performs. Of course, as I understand, there's things on the money that you can get everything you want much faster and easier. So, yay. All right, so. Oh, come on, skunk. If you're a completionist, you've got uh, the whole Auto's box option. Don't you have a reincarnation uh, 
timer though, so you, you box, finish out your life, and then you have to wait a couple days. There's no way to get around that timer, is there? For a TR? Yep, all you. I did not want the animus. I've got plenty. I run this often enough, I get that stuff. All right, so let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. As you can tell, I've never done an autos box or any of that, so I'm not really up on that. So yeah, day one. Be surprised if people weren't buying their autos boxes and now while well, they're available. Alright. What else you want to do, Blue Guy? Let's see what parties are up. <laughs> Alright, well we can do the XP run then. That's easy enough. Let's start with, oh, Go to where should we go? Let's start with Vaughn three. Hey, Lionel, how's it going? Well, that reminds me, I think I have my uh, follower notification set up. So if you follow me, not DDO stream, but Seymourgu, if you follow me, then uh, you should hear a sound as well as see the notice pop up on screen. How's it going tonight, Lando? Yeah, Ron Thelonis, we're doing epics if anyone wants to join us. Keep in mind. Hey, Sway, that's cool. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, you can also follow DDO Stream and follow me, Simorgu, and you'll get notified by email if you want when we start streaming. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my position on it. I, I don't really understand that either. I mean, playing is grinding. That's the nature of it, right? As you from the I was watching the... Uh, I don't remember what they call it now. The Shadowrun Online is what I'm going to keep calling it. Uh, dev stream earlier about their latest update. And I'm continually getting more and more unhappy with that game. I'm really disappointed in it. I kind of understand where they're coming from, but the scope is so small. I just don't, I don't see why I keep playing it once it's out. Alright, Pog. Hope you have a good evening. If I don't see you back. What's your current uh, life, skunk? Ahead, a glowing barrier blocks access to a forbidden cavern. The general channel. 
Yeah, Mari, it's my uh, dragon cam. I'll step in the quest here and then I'll show you. A little bit bigger on screen. Uh, let's see, go here. Just a minute while I, hello, edit scene, grab that. Oh, he's hiding behind his rock. Well, you can sort of see it down behind the rock, right about where, where my where balloon guy is right now. <laughs> he's back there. Unfortunately, he's not uh, being social at the moment. I'll leave it that big. See if that helps. He was lying right down there on, in front of his rock earlier, so I thought he'd be okay. He likes to just hang out sometimes and not uh, say hi. Other times he's just right on top of his rock or up in his hammock. know what he's going to be doing. Nice. That sounds like fun, Scott. You have the option of finding with your face or disabling the traps. Either way is perfectly viable. Yeah, the whole, the whole Rouge Rogue misspelling is hilarious. <laughs> uh, see, bad for you. I feel like actually killing these guys today, so let's see if we get that done. I always, when I, when I say, when I say, when I spell rogue, I always check, okay, am I actually saying rogue or am I saying rouge, because, yeah. Definite possibility that I could be saying the wrong thing, accidentally. Typing does not necessarily equal great spelling. Has anybody taken a typing test recently and know how many words per minute you can correctly type? I'm just curious. Let's see if anybody knows offhand what their typing speed is. Hey, Mari, see ya. Low seventies, skunk. That's cool.
I was hearing, I don't remember who it was, I was watching somebody streaming and I was hearing their, uh, they had a mechanical keyboard. And they were typing pretty darn fast. Pretty accurately, too. I had a friend in college, you, you always used a mechanical keyboard, and it was really loud. Just a barrage of when you started typing fast. Alright, Gordovan. See you when you stream tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Stand amidst a scene of terrible slaughter. The inevitable is already. I haven't taken a typing test recently, so I'm not sure. I can speed read, though, so... My reading's pretty fast. I also ha have a tendency to skip words, though. Because it's speed reading. You don't read every word, you just sort of read enough to get the gist of it. It kind of gets me in trouble sometimes when I'm reading something that shouldn't be sped read and I'm speed reading it. Gotta slow down, pay attention sometimes. Catch all the little details. Cordovan is out. I thought it was interesting in the uh, thread about wanting more people to stream that somebody was saying that they wanted to be paid for it. And while I understand that to a certain extent, this is strictly a volunteer thing. It's a fan volunteer thing. That's what it is. It's not necessarily a business thing. I understand the business has benefits for it, but it's not a job. We're not strictly regulated, we don't get paid, we don't get really any benefits. So it's just uh, something you do because you want to. And if you don't want to stream because you want to get paid, then this is not the right thing for you to do. That said, I would love to have streaming be my job. And I am currently out of a job at the moment, so it'd be nice, but in order to, for streaming to be a job, it has to be a job. 40 hours a week and all that. Yeah, there's... Um, I keep not completing this because I'm you know, job hunting and stuff, but um, if you have an NVIDIA card that supports uh, Shadowplay, and you can use Shadowplay, it takes a lot of load off your system because the video card basically handles it for you. So all you really need is a good internet connection, but that is critical to being able to stream at higher bit rates for uh, and better resolutions. So it's a trade-off there. Um, other than that, I'd really recommend OBS for streaming rather than Shadowplay, but if you have the right video card to take advantage of it, it's less pressure on your system if you do it that way. On my stream page, if you look at my profile, um, I have a list of everything I use for stream, and a lot of it is even necessary because I'm using things like VLC for the Dragon Cam, and I'm using the Easy Key Virtual Keyboard. Really, all you need is OBS, Open Broadcast Software, that's it. Oh, that sounds cool, guy. Okay. I would love to have a laser cutter. That would be fun. Just got turned around. Uh, 
my um, it's actually a scorpion, but it's called a it was called a desktop ballista on the Kickstarter. Was all laser cut wood. It turned out pretty well. Seen some fun stuff laser cut. It. I think I'd rather have a 3D printer, but a laser cutter would be another option for being able to do some fun stuff with. I personally wouldn't want to do it as a business, but I understand that that'd be a fun business to run. Ah. Ah. Onboard video won't be able to use shadow play. I mean, you can always try it. I mean, you've got a Twitch account, so you know, give it a shot. Just download OBS and get it set up for DDO. It is really pretty easy to get set up on that. I have planned a tutorial series on all that. Um, haven't got the details all done yet, but I'm planning on making one specifically for DDO and the stuff that I use just because I use it so it's easy to see examples of how I use it, but there's other, th other ways to do things. I would go with the laser engraver bet more than the 3D printer. I've already had a printer and wasn't impressed with it. <laughs> yeah. you got you got to realize that most hobbyist 3D printers right now have very poor resolution. So you're not going to be making all the intricate stuff you might think. So you might think be thinking of it first. But if you look at it as just a fun little thing to do things here and there with, I think it'd be fun. At the moment, I think the cost is still a little high for what you can do with them. Once that gets a little bit better, I'll uh, probably look at one. Well, I also have to have a job of some sort and have to have some money in, but the clusters of giant yeah. mushrooms grow more sparse as you emerge from the beholder's domain. Yeah, there is the whole filament question. What do you do and do they use proprietary spools? Oh, I missed that jump again. Well, Bloom Guy, it's all you if you want the optional. I missed it. I know someone who has. I'm not sure if it's his personal one or if he uses it in his, like it's the schools, and he uses it in his, when he teaches classes or what exactly the details are, but I know he at least has access to one. So in a pinch, if I really needed something, I could pay for some filament and do that. I like going over to Micro Center and they have their 3D printers printing stuff out quite often. It fascinates me. Industrial machinery has always fascinated me. Yeah, I've heard there's problems with having the right um, not only the right the, you're making the right plastic but the, the right, uh, what do they call that? The base that you print it on has to be correct and then it has to be designed correctly with all the supports and stuff that it needs. It's not just simply, eh, throw this up and go. It's real, uh, I don't want to say engineering, I guess, to get it all working right. I also know someone who is an engineer professionally. He has access to commercial rapid prototyping stuff, which is a fancy name for high-end 3D printers with really good resolution, so, yeah. I don't remember what exactly he said he had, but it was not nowhere near my price range. It was a big corporation or a specially small company price range. So it was probably a couple tens of thousands or hundred thousands of dollars. I would imagine. And the material is probably relatively more expensive as well. I don't even know what the material was or anything. 
I didn't ask at the time. But it was... Yeah, it sounded like fun. Having access to something like that. I've noticed the hobbyist printers are coming down where they're almost in reasonable range for what they do. But I haven't researched any of the current models, so... Last time I looked, it just didn't seem worth it for little stuff I was going to play around with. There's a tower to spare up. Man. Steeler souls. Stuff that I need. But I don't feel like doing it at the moment. Alright. Turn this in. And we will move on to... Let's go to House D and do some spies. Actually, let's go ahead and do Vaughn 1 while we're here. We're already here. Despair flagging is annoying, as is Steeler Souls flagging. I think I need. I haven't done. Oh, which one? Uh, one of those out there for Steeler Souls. And then I've done Temple Despair before, so. Just a matter of earning enough time to get the drops that I would like to have from it. Just that stuff doesn't come up very often. It's interesting to see it on right now. LFMs. I haven't seen very many. Oh, I forgot to ask Cordovan about the store thing. It looks like the banner is still up for it. Last I checked, the inventory space wasn't appearing on sale. So I'd love to have my sorcerer with more inventory space. Oh, it's interesting watching Alien with the sound off.
people are doing the King's Forest Unlimited Slayers. Temple of Death Worms up. Uh, Chronoscope. Wow, there's some stuff going on tonight. I wonder why today is so popular. Looking at a possible job that I might apply for that uh, would mean I can no longer do Tuesdays, which would be annoying because I like my Tuesday slot, but I would be working at this time. It's interesting watching that without sound, or should I say, different sound. Are you watching the original? Am I four months? Oh, I should probably do this too. This looks like the underground highway to Tharask Arena. If you search for Dirge's contact, keep your guard up. Yep, yep. A little bit of extra XP. Should be able to take this one. difficult before, but that's on E. I I believe. Surprisingly difficult compared to the other guys here. Probably do something like spies next. You see if we can scare up some more people. So we disable traps and have enough people so then when we go to Wiz King we'll be doing really good. A full party rolling in. So we can get all the towers done quickly. here. Get through this section a little more quickly and get to the end fight, which is the real fun. I love how I have sound footsteps in midair. That's awesome. Somehow they're still tracking me by sound in midair. I'm not moving silently enough. I am jumping. Now the landings I can understand. And even 
maybe the oof when you jump or something, but in midair, that doesn't make too much sense. I'm in my what, ninth or tenth life here, epic life. I'm starting to get more comfortable with the harder difficulties, but it still makes more sense to me to run a lot of the stuff on epic normal just to get it done quicker. Hit point inflation on harder difficulties is kind of ridiculous. Sometimes. So, generally I'll just sit here. Lower difficulties is not worry about it. Actually, I can kill you all. Here, let me show you how. Did somebody get stuck? Yep. He got stuck behind the wall. Ogre mage. There we go. Nope, still not. Somebody else got stuck. These guys are bucky in here sometimes. Yep, there's a guy stuck right there. Come on. Come and get us. There he goes. I love how they get stuck sometimes. It's so much fun. So I tend to hang back here until they come out. Yeah, Landell he was. Both of them were. Well, actually, I think the Ogre Mage was just stuck. The other guy, the uh, Kobold was hiding. I've had this glitch out where a Minotaur was embedded in this wall right here. You couldn't hit him. I've had them do that thing where they just sit back in their holes. They don't come out. That's annoying. A couple ways you can inadvertently fail this quest through no fault of your own. Alright guys, I'm tired of getting knocked around here, buddies. Yes, 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 announcer, come on. Just let him out so we can. Yeah, I'll 
And now these guys, which are always fun. Might as well get the other chest. Oh. Didn't even see that. And then there's the other chest, which is this one over here. is what you're really after. It's not a horrible XP per minute, but it's also not great. Alright. I'm going to go back to the ship, sell, repair, and then... Uh, Put the LFM up for Spies in the House times two and Whiz King times two, and that'll give us a bunch of experience, which is what we're after. Some stuff repaired and sold. Da 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 da. Alright, anything worth saving in here? I haven't seen anything unless that's useful. And it is not. Alright, haggle hat. Excuse me. And I'm ready to go. Head out to house D for spies. I forgot about the guy. Oh. Blue and guy, that, that hurts. I've done that before too on some quests. What's worse is if you recall that before you're finishing the quest because you forget that it isn't completed yet. So now when you get the epic quest, you get the XP either. And there it is. Twenty to twenty-eight, and party size is six, and. TV, DDO, stream, 
Oh, I forgot the slash. Okay, that covers the basics. Oh, it's the scene, the scene of aliens. And wow, lots of people are smoking in this movie. There it is. It's almost time for the chest burster. And... There you have it. Chest burster. <laughs> ah, such a fun scene. Hmm. No hits for the uh, spies today. Usually fills up pretty quick. I guess it is kind of early though. I usually run this stuff kind of a little bit later. Yeah, it's only six. Oh, I just missed. I missed, missed, missed. Hey, see you, Simon. Thanks for stopping and checking it out. I hope to see you again and enjoy DDO. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. There we go. Hey Rathko, how's it going? My friends following me yet? They're not. I probably should switch rings here real quick. Makes me slightly more survivable. That's good here, Rathko. Well, it's going well. him. 
Indeed, Rathko. It is time to play DDO. Tell you, being out of work for a while and uh, having more time to play DDO, I appreciated DDO a lot more when I had a job and only could play limited time. Because I kind of get burnt out as much as I've been playing here and there lately. Had to take some breaks, do other stuff. You okay there, balloon guy? You hear a prisoner's voice calling for help. Oh, hello. I seem to recall you this wasn't one of your favorite quests, but it is really good XP. this other person's in. I tend to do this quest in autopilot anymore, so I don't even think about what I'm doing. I just do it. The first couple times, though, I was so lost and frustrated with this quest. I don't have enough jump. Ah! Let's not do that. No, you don't have enough jump. That's a problem. Let's see, do I have a clicky I can use on you? I have a jump clicky somewhere. Yes, I can. Ah, look at that. How about that? That might help. You're in the right spot. You just gotta come up here. <laughs> I'm a dwarf and I'm making the jump. Ideally you want to turn the corner like I just did and jump up here. It's taking me some practice to get where I can do that, but as long as you can get up here however it happens, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. No, you're gonna have to I think you're gonna have to jump from the top of the boxes. Like I usually do, because it's higher by a little bit. It might be enough to make the difference. You can actually just jump straight up like I just did there. Yeah, that's why I keep that jump clicky around just in case. Um, because sometimes you just need that little extra oomph. That's not the way to go. Looks like everybody's in, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to the first captive. Yeah, kind of. it's kind of like the pit. I agree. Well, I'm going to go ahead and continue in the hopes that at least I'll get through it and you get the XP. It is worth hiking even to this to do this quest what is your uh, maybe take your armor off see if that helps at all 
I don't know what else to suggest. I know my cleric can't jump for crap. It's annoying. I'm going to go ahead and go. Get these boxes for the extra XP bonus. So if you don't know, if you have a rune arm or a fireball or something, you can just turn around and you get all of them. But if you're a melee, you kind of have to go over there and actually get them yourself, which is annoying. Yay, dancing. Love dancing. Oh, hey, Scullies. How's it going? Hey, on my way. I am glad you asked that question because I have a URL for you. Just a moment. I can answer that question fully. Uh, as soon as I find where I put it. Oh, I thought I had it open. There it is. There you go. That has my build and gear. Um, well. Obviously not the gear I'm wearing, because most of the gear on there at the moment is uh, the level 27 Orchard stuff, but I do have a list of most of my gear that includes what I'm wearing now. Hey, if you play Wheel of Fortune, you want it to uh, get as much... out of your buying of owls possible, don't you? I do. Did we hit trip the lever? I don't even know if it trips the lever yet. You hear a metal port no, we did. Right. So I'm actually wearing the um, Sun Soul set. So I do have, I am taking advantage of being a monk at the moment. by wearing that. But later on, I go, I switch to heavy armor for the PRR because it's PRR. And it's a lot more useful at the higher levels to have that damage. Just basically be ignoring half damage is what it ends up being just about. Balloon guy, I can't tell via the map, so um, basically there's an electric corridor you need to go up once you're up. Keep going up as high as you can. Go to the electric corridor, and then if you can make it past that trap, do that. Um, nobody's doing traps at the moment, so... From there, it's better if you keep going up wherever you can, because um, you're it ends at the top. Oh my gosh! Unfortunately, this is one of those quests with like the pit where the map doesn't help at all. Yeah, that's what I meant, Rothko. Is if you're having trouble jumping. Um, or going through traps sometimes, but for jumping, um, if you take your armor off, you're wearing heavy armor, then you won't get the negative 
skill penalty to jump, so you might have a chance of actually making the jump. Just suggestion, since I obviously don't know your gear. Um, but it can work. It can help, at least. So eventually these elementals will come over here. Yeah, we can do that too if we want to. I actually might be in range. If you're over on this side, you can sometimes get the air jets to push them closer to us. That's what I usually try to get happening. Because you get that skill pounding when you have heavy armor on, is what I was saying before. So it might be useful to take your armor off if you're having trouble jumping. Come on. Come on. Why aren't you coming any closer? Alright, we'll just range them then. There we go. Get where I can actually hit you. Do some decent damage. Generally up here I'll be taking a lot of ice damage. Did you finally make the jump? That's awesome if you were able to make it. Yeah, that jump's difficult. Again, once you get past there, you go up as far as you can. If you can't go up, then look across. Um, there should be a platform you need to go to, and there's lightning and grease traps. So there's somebody's disabling stuff now, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure if that stuff will be there. There's a little corridor you need to go through. And then keep going up. There'll be a ladder, and you go up the ladder. I really can't tell. The map is not helpful. The map doesn't really indicate what level you're on. It's really hard to tell where you are. Somebody went a little too fast. Don't really like that. So voices everybody and uh, end of quest. I'm pretty sure you're pretty far back, Blingo. We're going to do it again, so hopefully you can make the jump. I or somebody can get you jump early, much earlier on, and hopefully get you up and through the quest. Fortunately, it's one of those that that map just doesn't tell you anything. It's really annoying that it doesn't do that, but... Don't think everybody was out, were they? Did you guys do Wiz King already? Who's next? Yeah, that's fine, balloon guy. Is everybody out? One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, someone's not coming out. 
Okay. Oh shit, I thought it was already reset. I was up for goddamn five minutes. One, two, three. I still see somebody in. Okay, balloon guys out. Madeline out. Is that everybody? All right, we're in. Hey, Bloom Guy, that's fine if you just want to pike. I know this quest is frustrating, but it's such good XP. <laughs> it's hard to complain about the XP. Even if the quest itself is a little frustrating. recently that hasn't been in chat or anything. I see some people are lurking. That's cool. Glad you stopped by to check out the channel. This is a particular stream. I am a member of the community stream team who streams on this channel. There are a number of us. Seem to be more. Try to keep things interesting here on the channel. And, uh, we all stream DDO, of course, on this particular channel. This is the official DDO channel for streaming, but uh, we also have our own personal channels that we stream on as well. Appreciate you uh, looking at those and following us on those, as well as here on DDO stream, and YouTube, Twitter, wherever else we are. At some point, I'll put my personal promo screen up, and you'll see all those various places. So am I going to get it? Yep, they've got it. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it then. Missed the jet. Wow. I mean, completely missed it. Wasn't even close. Did we already get those? We did not get those. I think I forgot these last time. I usually remember these. They help the. Uh, Get that 10% extra bonus XP. And I saw the notice for the portcullis, so I know we got that. Let's just make sure we crunch these. I recommend if Anybody, I'm not. I'm not picking on Bloom Guy, but um, 
I've seen a lot of people having problems with Quest. I used to have a lot of problems with Quest, and I've seen people asking for ways to get through it and such. I do have a video up on my YouTube that it's a tutorial video on how to do this solo, doing basically just the minimum needed to get through it. Um, I do recommend watching that and then trying that out on a character. Make sure you bring however you can jump, whether it's potions or scrolls or whatever it is, something to increase your jump if what you have a little jump. What does that have to do with it? There are quite a few options for jump. Uh, There's no penalty. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a good idea. It's not like a dwarf is like on the dwarf form. thing. <laughs> get the, the buff from House J. There's a, another good option. Go to House J and get the uh, jump buff from them. You know, that'd actually be realistic in the uh, pen and paper, but uh, that's not how it works in DDO. Yeah, take off your armor it then. works that way when you're uh, wearing heavy armor. Take the armor off. Yep, take off your armor. It helps some. Oh, come on, stupid. Well, elementals, get up here. Stupid elementals. Oh, I made it up to the top. I love when that happens. So much easier. So if you get lucky on that jump, you actually get all the way to the top. It's much easier to get up here and do this get through this. I don't have to worry about that middle stage there. It's a lot faster. Oh, House P is a jump buff? Okay. Missy. Sorry, that color I can't read on my uh, IRC window here. I think it's Missy something. Thanks for that. So yeah, go to the spell vendors and get your jump buff there. It's an awesome idea. I always forget about those, but they are very useful in some situations. I got from the other side or something. That's cool. Voices or equivalents. Alright. Now we go on to Wiz King. Which should, should, hopefully should not be as frustrating for anybody. Whiz King, Whiz King. Ah, uh, the malfunctioning bishop scene. I forgot about that. Like, slow pan around him. It's an interesting shot.
just in case oops, somebody doesn't have it. Let's do that. Share it. Oh, I have slow, slow movement speed with my ring of speed that I have on. Go play my bard or my monk and it's completely different. It's amazing how much faster you move. I'm gonna take tower two. This impressive structure houses the tomb of the wizard king. You enter the tomb's antechamber, and you will find it occupied by a pack of gnomes. Generally, if I have a choice, I always go tower one. Evening, Mistwalker. How's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Slotted in. Grab that. <laughs> Making good progress on your TR train. Okay. I wonder why people just d leave parties without saying anything. Hey, I was just following you. Wow. Second in three days. I hate this floor. This is the floor I really hate. We haven't got past level 10. Uh, yeah, well, I am in Epic, so things change a bit in Epic. Oh, this quest is level 11, I believe. So you're almost in range. Oh man, do I hate these eternal wizards. And my stats are pretty low compared to some. So, keep that in mind too. I'm not really what I would consider a power player, not like Mist here, or Skunk, or some of these other people that I know play a lot more than I do. And, uh, have played longer and more experience and have TR and all that stuff. I have Epic Reincarnate, but I've never true reincarnated, so. So you'll find 
I have a different outlook on some of this stuff than people who have been on the TR train for a while doing that stuff. <laughs> so if you're just on TRs, you don't worry about coming back and doing waiting and doing the stuff on Epic to get the bonuses on Epic because you get the big, bigger bonus XP. I'd imagine if you're just stuck TR and you don't care, so you just do whatever you want to do. So I usually solo a lot, but these two quests that we're doing here, Spice in the House and uh, Wiz King, are better in a group. Well, Wiz King's better in a group because of the whole splitting up to do a tower thing. So you can get all three towers done at once. That's why Wiz King's better. For me, since I don't have trapping skills, it really makes sense for me to... Uh, have some try to get other people in for spies because of the whole 30% bonus XP for trapping and that didn't work this time. Um, it doesn't work every time but usually in a group there's a fair chance that somebody can do traps. So, And I find spies is a great prep for Wiz King because then you have your group together for... yeah understand that mist get some stuff out of the way and we're ready to go when the new update comes out completely understand that I was trying to take advantage of the uh... oh good I didn't get Ryan I was trying to take advantage of the whole uh, ec epic XP weekend so that's what I've been doing over the weekend was Primarily running this character and getting epic XP I didn't quite succeed in getting to 28, but 25 is pretty good. Should have waited just a little bit more. We got a little more bonus XP for finding the treasure chamber, right? Or there, somebody already get that? I didn't see. structure houses the tomb of the wizard king you know I take the mummy right off but it just comes back Yeah, I see some people join, so I'm going to throw this out again. That's my character that I'm playing now. Um, obviously, I don't have all the that same gear equipped that's on the uh, image, and the images are clickable. They're image maps, so you can click different areas and get different information on stuff. But uh, that's basically what I have. Um, actually, let me clear some inventory space here. Who's still in here? What do you think? Can Last recall? time I decided to uh, recall out and forgot to loot the epic chest. All right, everybody's out. We're in. So yeah, I'm actually wearing the uh, Sun Soul set, and basically any of the stuff that's on that equipment list that's level 20-ish, 
That's what I'm wearing. Um, that level 27 set that I show wearing is what I normally wear at 27, of course. But I don't stay at 27 very long. I just get to 28 and then that's it. So although I have that stuff, it just I don't get much use out of it. It can be handy for trying to do something particularly difficult, but I'm in the epic reincarnation grind, so I mostly say with stuff I can equip in the lower twenties and not so much the upper twenties. I'm probably going to take a short break after this quest. Um, well, uh, again, I'm not doing well on the floors today. Sometimes I can go quite a while just running across the floor not worrying about it. And there are times it's like this where it just sucks. I really hate this floor configuration right here. Especially when I get hamstrung. Have to wait for that to wear out. <sighs> I did this a day or two ago. I spent way too much time here because I kept falling through the stupid floor. This particular floor is horrible. Hmm. Lin guy, you're in trouble. Pop you a heal there. Let's go this way then. Sometimes it'd be easier to go that way. You, Mr. Jerk, you need to go down first, though. Taking a break after this, just a short one. Refill my drink. Walk around a little bit, stretch, maybe walk the dog briefly. Just a little bit. You know, last week I kind of took a longer break, but I don't plan on doing that this time. I did eat before I started, and all that. Together, not look at me too much. A genie blocks your path. Wow, the strobe lights. I do like the uh, epic ethereal bracers for preventing knock the knockdown portion of being thrown around by the uh. Genies. 
air elementals and all that. See unspun yet? At least damageable. I have from time to time come in here and one shot at him. It was hilarious. Let's take him out fast. Looks like everybody else is waiting. Yay. Tell everybody thank you. Get my loot. And we will be on to... Occasionally, if you hang around, you can get somebody who will greater teleport you back to... Like that, for example, which I love. Much faster than having to recall twice. That is for sure. Excellent. All right. So for those of you watching the stream on Thelonis and want to play, balloon guy and whoever else um, I will be back in a couple minutes do more questing but at the moment I want to take a short break I get back to the airship uh, do the repairing and selling and all that and take maybe a five minute break or so and uh, we'll be back to do some more if you have any requests let me know if you have any questions or comments or whatever feel free i read the chat i know some people are still lurking and that's fine but uh you can introduce yourselves say hi in chat if you want no pressure if you don't i remember to get the mummy rod off this time sometimes i forget that that's annoying and as soon as I can move here. I'm almost level 26, which is good. Get my even better Great Axe. That equipped. I think that's really the only gear change I do. I don't think there's much else I do. And I don't see anything there that's compelling. So we'll... All right, I'm sold, repaired. Um, just because we were talking about it or brief earlier, this is the gear set I have on now. I have the Darius smoke goggles in the goggles slot. I've got Deadly Mask of the Magi, which is Deadly 6 and 100 spell points. Silver Flame Trinket, the Epic Treasure Hunter Spyglass with Master's Gift slotted. Mithra Cloak of the Bear, Belt of the Sun Soul, Ring of Shadows, Iron Mitts, Fortify Boots at False Life 25. Proof Against Poison 10 Ring of Speed. I really only had that for the speed. Proof Against Poison was just a bonus that was in there. Bracers of the Sun Soul, and then the Vestments of the Sun Soul. That's my armor. So you can see I'm centered and all that. Oh, I forgot to switch my quiver. Let's switch quivers to the Quiver of Poison. What is the min whiz for casting cleric spells? I do not know. Um, I have a cleric. Let me take a quick moment to look that up real quick, then I'll go on break. What? What was that? Via wiki cleric wisdom. I can't spell wisdom. I spelled please do. Ah, here you go. Here's the line you want right here. 
I will show you the line you want right there. That is from there. Hope that answers your question, Joe Hazra. So again, I will be back in just a few moments. Let me throw my self promo up here real quick. You can follow me on Twitch TV, on YouTube, Twitter, and my website, and on Steam. I'm pretty consistent with uh, my username, so it should be easy to find me on any of those. And then a uh, quick look at the DDO stream schedule, which is now the default image on DDO stream when there isn't somebody streaming. So it's easy to find and look at that anytime you want. So let me get back here, take get my break sign up. And again, I'll be back in about five or so minutes. So, you know, get up, stretch, take a drink break, take a bio break, whatever, and we'll see you back shortly.
All right, hello everybody, I'm back. Successful walk. It's getting chilly again out there. It had been kind of nice. And uh, it's definitely cooling down again. Let's see. I'm going to join this snitch. So if you feel like joining me, then that's where I will be. Hey, Mist, how's it going? Thank you. Snitch, 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 snitch. Where am I? I'm in the teleporter. There we go. Say hi from there. See how this does. Good, I'm not too far behind. If you could lower one of the nearby ladders, you would be able to climb up onto the rooftops. As you turn the valve, you hear a metallic clang in the distance, and angry squeals nearby. I'm hoping for the piece of the Integrate X here. Oh, it was nice. We had windows open yesterday. It was 60 or 70 or something. Nice and warm. And today it's gotten back to being chilly. Uh, that was uh, John Buds. How's it going? So yeah, definitely a change. Was really enjoying the nicer weather.
Yeah, I'm not doing too bad otherwise. Just uh, order up from that walk I took with the dog just a minute ago and send them back in to play some more DDO here. Hopefully, well, obviously I'll get 26. I'm really close. It's not going to be a problem. Yeah, we had some 32s and zeros and negatives and all that in the past month or so. As you open the valve, the metal sound of gears tone can be heard from the water below. These actually hit me. That's unusual. This group's going a little slower than I normally go through here, so I'm going to slow down just a little bit. Oh, what the heck? I'll talk to her even. Wow, that's a pretty long break. Um, my longest break was two years. Not four and a half. So yeah, all the epic stuff is interesting. Definitely is interesting. I know. I used to see people playing epic back when it was just epic. That's all there was. There wasn't anything besides just epic. You hit level 20, you did epics. Whereas now you've got eight epic levels, and soon there'll be ten epic levels. Not sure how. Watchdogs dream peacefully in the sunshine below. If you're careful, you can catch up to Roderick Nettle and still let sleeping dogs lie. I don't have enough uh, move silently to uh, not awaken the dogs anyway, that's why I was hanging back. Yep, I really enjoy my epic destinies and my epic past lives. They are so very handy. Did somebody... Uh, A magical field flickers into place, protecting the upper courtyard from unwanted intruders. Yep. Yeah, I bet if you came back from not playing for a while, it's a big adjustment. All sorts of things have changed in four and a half years. You got a bunch of new quests, uh, some new raids. Do you have new classes? I don't remember. Yeah, you probably have new classes and yeah all the iconics are probably new to you plus all the enhancement changes for sure you'll notice the enhancements are completely different and much nicer than they used to be destinies yeah lots of good stuff has happened to the game Gilly is slowed on, so just 
saying hi to them. I was seriously champion, I didn't realize that. It didn't really matter much, just took slightly longer to kill. It wasn't a big deal. Yep, druids are new, just in time for warlock. A terrible Looks like we're doing the optional. The hallway, as if sheets of metal were being torn to bits. I don't mind doing the optional. I guess anymore when I sell it, I don't do the optional. Here, just... Not much XP for the time. The rust monster is so intent on wheel that he hasn't noticed your... Oh, Artie is new, yeah. Yeah, they're fun. Both of them. Comics are interesting to try out. If you have access to them. I'm pretty sure if I start doing reincarnations other than epics, I'm gonna do some iconics just because I ran that first couple levels of content to death. Um, I'd rather not redo it. Although I struggle in the 14 to 18 range, so we'll see. I'm starting to learn more of them and get more done, but not that quickly. Combustion, something or other. Exceptional dragon shards, yay. <laughs> Just say no to Warlock. I I just don't understand what Warlock is supposed to bring. I don't understand at all. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I I know those first couple levels of quests pretty well now because I've done this many times, but I don't really enjoy them. I enjoy more the oh, six to twelve-ish range. And then giant hold hits, and I don't like giant hold, so, you know. Once hits there, I kind of slow down because I don't like giant hold. And a lot of the stuff gets longer and more involved and harder to get to as you go up. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll agree to that. I don't mind Tor. With the raid fall of truth, I don't mind that either. But uh, the rest of the giant hole, meh. Doesn't do anything for me. I don't like the explore area, I don't like the quest particularly. So don't run it very often, which means I don't have much of the gear from there. All right, now show me the piece of the antique red X that I need, please. Please show me the piece of the antique red X that I need. No. No. Crucible, I still need an epic or elite completion on on this character. I, after having run with some groups now, I have a slight understanding of how to do it. But the first time I was ever in there, I so tried to solo it, and that did not go well. So, yeah. Not really a giant hold fan.
thing about giant holes, I don't really know my way around, so when there's LFMs up, I'm not sure where I'm going. So I tend to just not do it. Skip it, go somewhere else that I know where everything is. I'm starting to get used to where things are going out again, but still not my favorite area. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what we're doing here. It's still sound the snitch. Chapter house, that is another one of my favorite quests. Party crashers. Particularly if we have the uh so we do traps. Or I mean no uh, not traps, the other different than outside. As if you were transported into the deep jungles of Zendrick. As Open doors by house beyond, to get the all the optionals. I love the fact that there's a no combat ending if you get all the optionals. It's just awesomely done quests. The illusions around you dissipate. The way deeper into the illusionarium is open. I have a feeling they might not know what they're doing. The air suddenly shifts from tropical heat to bitter cold. It is as if you were teleported leagues away. Just have a Sands. I can get to offering of blood maybe half the time without help. Um quickly. Eventually I'll get it. And Chains is also kind of iffy. Wiz King's not a problem. Suppose you do an EH. Though you can see the rest of Stormreach through the skylights above, the oh no! The Sawabi hey, found me! Thanks for the follow, whoever just followed. I hear my uh, sound is working correctly, which is awesome. Awesome. I finally got to test it out and it works for reals. Azure Silver Gaming, thank you for, for the follow. I appreciate it. The Mark of Shadow created copies of itself. They must be illusions. Only destroying the real one will end this death trap. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That must be the illusionary ones have disappeared. As well as the barrier. Yeah, for our bloodstones. This place feels like it's big that scorpion completely enveloped the mark of shadow. We will need to destroy it. <laughs> yeah, that's the nature of random drops, unfortunately. I have run snitch out how many times I still have a last piece of the epic antique great X that I need. I've run Vaughn out how many times I still have the last piece of the sort of shadows. Yeah. All sorts of fun. Hey, Azure Silver Gaming, again, thanks for the follow. Glad somebody was able to follow me so I could hear that sound. I just put that in in the past week, and I want to make sure it was working. But nobody had followed me yet, so. You know. It's nice to have the confirmation that it works when it happens. Oh yeah, there's some new prefixes, suffixes. Were you, you around for the uh, Kenneth crafting whole thing? I don't remember when that came in exactly.
Yep. Fun new stuff. So we didn't get the last... You Here run through the gauntlet of House Fialan's illusionarium, but you still need to enter the chapter and stop... Again, I've run this so many times, I know exactly how it all works, at least for my normal route, that it's, yeah. That's cool. At least you got somebody that kept up on everything for you. So you're not coming in completely cold. The Fialan Chapter House must have been closed as a precaution during the Grand Gala. The ballroom is on the far side of the Chapter House, and it seems rather unlikely that next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the illusion area. The Chapter House Theater normally hosts stage plays for Fialan's elite patrons. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. I don't do the end optionals very often, so if it's done on the straight line path here to the end, I know how to do the optionals in this next part. All the other options back there don't quite do those often enough to know them by heart. Come up here, get some things, go back, do all those, you have to fight your way back, because you can't skip. They probably won't attack you. Hopefully. All that fun stuff. I know I'll have a nice long break here while Cyan walks. Unless we're doing the optionals, which... I don't, I'm not leading the group, so I'm not sure what the guidance is going to be on the optionals. I don't know if we have him, we can even open the door. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf, but that facade does not fool you. You easily see through to the malicious tiefling underneath. It'll take him a little bit to get that done. Meanwhile, I will get all these collectibles here. This is one of those quests, if you want collectibles, it's talked with them. There's so many collectibles in this quest. Presume everybody knows to go to the library. Legendary victory. Oh, wow. That was a nice roll, Mist. Congratulations on that. Wow. That's awesome. Did maybe find the. Uh... One of the drink servers looks like an elf. But that one is this one. Looks like an elf, but you see through her disguise to the glowing red eyes of her true tiefling form. Let's see if she's gonna walk or teleport. Sometimes she teleports halfway through the walk. It's amusing. <laughs> yeah. I get a lot of 100 experience point rolls.
Cyan should be able to find an antidote for any poison the party guests have already imbibed. Maybe get with the door here. Nobody can open the door. Yeah, still on Thelonis. All right, well, then let's trigger the end. I don't know if people are doing it. You gotta wait for Cyan to walk or five minute walk. So we have to fight the uh, troop here. Unfortunately, because we uh, didn't have to unlock the door upstairs so we could bypass the fighting. But that's okay. The troop's pretty easy. Less casters that way. I like the dialogue here too. It's fun. I really like this quest.
Yeah, it's about four minutes longer than it usually takes me solo. But of course it was on hard. Many people I hear that it seemed to know what was going on exactly. So all in all, not bad. Looks like the group is 21 to 25. I'm not running the group, so. Just tagging along. So it should be time for the last one, which is an interesting one. I am 26 now, but I can make some XP, so I'm not really worried. I was double muted there. So yeah. Looks like we're in. Ready to go. You have to turn the chain in, don't you, to get this quest? You do the other ones, and then you go back to the person for the chain, I thought. So yeah, it's Solute's group, if anybody. Uh, there's one spot left, looks like, unless they pull a hireling again. Level 21 to 25. Not run the group up. I pulled Ireland, so we're full. Not running this group. I just joined because they were doing something I wanted to do anyway, and I figured, why not? to see what the timestamp was of uh, who was that actions at the entrance appear about okay so 25 after roughly was where somebody followed me and my sound went off so I want to go back there and highlight that because that was amusing use it to explain to Cordovan what I was requesting the other day that I didn't understand what I was trying to request. I want to be able to set that up for this channel. Striker, one of the classic carnival Not just my personal channel. Can be won by the bells. I have a trap or two, yeah. that's going to make the turning the wheels interesting. As the rune locks into place, Power of the wheel of ill fortune dissipates, rendering hopefully somebody knows it though. It won't be too bad.
I don't know where the trap box is, is on one of those somewhere in here. So... Really confused. So what's going on? Oh, we're looking up. That green is a triangle and yellow is a diamond. Hey, Pog. Welcome back. So I got yellow. No one got green. So we're going to go back and get green. We got red diamond for yellow and white triangle for green. I have never seen anybody spend that much time on that. Strength thing. Actually pretty amusing. Epic characters trying to get the strike thing going. Somebody says they have a 61 strength, they still do ring the bell. I had thought it was just random anyway. Doesn't matter what your strength was, it took a couple tries. the challenge of ringing the high striker bell
wafts on the air. Green server, purple is square. This is so confusing. Nope, not this way again. Uh, crap, where are the... up there? That's orange. Man, I get lost in here so easily. That's blue. I think it's purple. I found purple a minute ago. Purple's a square, so that's got it. Where is yellow? No, yellow's a green circle. Just do it two more times. Okay, it's open. I love that invisible wall right there. It's me quite often. It looks like you can jump over it, but you can't. the tap. 
the man made it happen. Contingent of Fialan agents stands near the only open entrance into the tent. Their leader watches you expected. There it goes. That's where I wanted to get these last couple of breakables. They're still trying to get that striker game. See, I told you. It's fixed. Oh, that's hilarious. Fialan's form. She and her infiltrators stand ready to do violence. Stand ready to do violence. It's a good line. Hey, Slacker, how's it going? Good to see you. I see Skunk's back. Pog's back. Thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. It's another fun evening. Oh, 8 o'clock. I'm doing okay so far. Maybe be do another hour or so. See how it goes. After this, probably drop this group and take level 26, and then figure out what else is available to do. May switch characters. I don't know. Not sure exactly what I feel like doing. Again, we're on Thalanus. I'm just in a pug right now. Nothing special. Doing the epic XP grind thing. Trigger my stuff. That's when she goes into the school again. So now I'll go ahead and trigger this. And do the real damage. You're figuring that clearing these guys real quick and then going back to her would be the best use of it. Take a level, repair, sell. All the good stuff. Make sure to gather all my comms my bag so they don't take up inventory space. And 
Then we'll head up to... Actually, I should have taken the teleported marketplace. That's okay. Not a big deal. Actually, I know I'm going to head to Evening Star. Maybe I'll just train my new level there. That's probably the better idea. I think I'll do it that way. Head out to Evening Star, talk to the Fate Spinner out there, get at my epic level. And then do the Druid's Chain and don't drink the water. That should take up some more of the time that's left. Is there anything I want to look at? Look at the ring real quick. Nope. Alright. Heading out to Evening Star. Do something different this time. Take Holy Strike at 26. I have been taking a perfect two handed, yeah, two handed fighting. I really don't notice that much difference though with it. Whereas with Holy Strike, I would hope I would notice a huge difference. At least on the mobs that it applies to. Alright, Pog, see ya. Thanks for checking in again. Appreciate it. So, yeah, there's no FMs up. I'll just do my usual solo. Oh, hey, I'm 26. 26 means that I can use my 26 Thunderforge to Great Axe. Which I very much enjoyed using. It's got the Dragon's Edge, so you get the armor piercing on it, and then it has the second slot, so I've got a Ruby Eye of Erosion in that. Along with a Meteoric. So I'll go ahead and do this chain on epic hard um, shouldn't be a problem i may not get the wood woods exactly um, done for the bonus chest but that's not a horrible thing there is some kind of wooden man beyond the roof wall. Let's make sure I get this first one, and hopefully this will still be around for the second. It may not be, I don't remember. Got caught somewhere, I can't tell where I am. There I am. Defend this strange wilderness. I think I can get to the second one still on and have some of these charges of this left. Whatever you call it, timer. I don't really want to slow down. To game it so that I can get that, but 
I know that's the way I guarantee it. Oh, look, the uh, Harper is a champion. That's amusing. That is amusing. Like we get champion elements during the demon web. The champion piker. So yeah, I've got a couple charges left. It should be okay if I haste up. Power up. And maybe not. This but two horrors that are close to each other might be tricky. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, got it. Once I get 27, it's all just a cakewalk. Once I get that gear on, everything is so much easier. Oh, that's right, I can't actually find this. Oh, I can. Uh, why can't I find that? I didn't think I could find it last time I tried it on hard. Alright, so I don't have very much time left on that. I don't want to delay. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I'll be satisfied with the three that I got. If I get these wisps, I don't care about the wolves, I just need to get the wisps down quickly. Wolves will take care of themselves. Got it. Good, good, good. Yeah, if only I can do this, get a performance at, uh, what level is it? 24, I think. Something like that. That'd be optimal. I do have a 18 bard. I think we can. I can switch to. If you want to do that, I need that bard to get up to 20. Go ahead and eat these guys off the board. I don't usually do this, but it's a couple more swings, really. Not a big deal. Alright. Got my XP, so I'll just call that for this character and I'll switch over to my bard. I want to get to 20 and then use my heart to respec into the kind of Monte Cristo build. Um, yeah, I can just stop here. I don't need to worry about anything. So again, since I haven't done this in a minute, here's more places to find me if you're enjoying the stream with me hosting, which I do appreciate. Then you can find my YouTube videos. I have a lot of DDO YouTube videos. Um, all of my streams here on DDO stream are up on YouTube as well. Um, I'm on Twitter, of course my own Twitch channel, which you can hear that lovely Lars Hayton sound clip if you go over to my channel and follow me. And then uh, 
my site and Steam. And a reminder of the DDO stream schedule, which is now appearing when nobody is streaming this channel, so it's a lot easier to find the schedule. Um, it's right there in the video window. Um, but it's me, Seymour Gonthalanis, today. Overnight is the damsels. I'm not sure if they're on or off this week. Um, they usually do three out of every four weeks on Argo. And then uh, we have the Wednesday lunchtime live stream with Cordovan. We'll be on Galanda this week. And then the fling after that. And Friday and Sunday is Titan. And Mini Monday is being hosted by DAG, but it's still happening. Uh, Monday is at 4.30 actually now, due to the time change. And uh, in case you didn't hear the news earlier, we've got uh, Cordovan said he was working on release notes for the Lamania preview of U25, which should hopefully happen by Thursday. And uh, yeah, some good stuff happening. So, let's see, what am I doing here? We're looking up. Titan. Anybody else have a 18-ish, 19-ish character on Thelonis and want to join us? Uh, I have no idea what we're doing, but we're trying to get our late heroic characters some XP, basically. Let's see, did I do... No, I think I'm good. Hey, Titan, so you want to run? I do not know the quests at this level very well at all. Alright, balloon guy. That's cool. I have no idea at this level what to run. Let's see, these would be 16s on Elite. Sixteens on Elite. Uh, looks like I have done Lords of Dust. Have I done... Servants? I have not done Spinner though, so I have to log off and get... Oh god, if I want to go to Evening Star. Yeah, I can do Veil, I guess. I haven't done this, I don't think. You can see I've got a lot of stuff empty up here. Haven't done Wayloon. Yeah, I haven't done Sleeping Dust. You want to do Elite Veils then? That's cool. Uh, Let's go to Meridia then. Have I been to Meridia? Can I get to Meridia? I just want some radio. I thought we were going to do the veils. Is there anything up? Prey on the Hunter Reaver's Refuge. Eh. No room for us anyway. Uh, I am not. I thought the balloon guy was... Oh, he's only 20, so that's fine, yeah. Cool. There 
we go. Am I going to hear an echo again? No, this guy's level 20. Well, then Vale's going to kill our XP if he's 20, so... Yeah, I'm not flagged for that. Reaver's Refuge, 19 on Elite. That wouldn't be horrible. I don't really care about Ravy Bonus. I just care about getting to 20. I just want to make sure I get some... Hey, if you're on Thelonis and want to join us, feel free. Always good for that. Or I really don't care. I just want to get my heroic people back to, or this heroic up to, uh, Yeah, maybe 18s then. Uh, chat disconnected on my other machine, so I'm not sure. That means, yeah, so, and then I don't care. Somebody pick something that's in that range, 18, 19-ish on Elite, and we can do that. Okay. Let me log off and log back on then. I'll have to do the thing, but at least I can do that. Oh, did I not change the machine back to DDO? Oops. How about that? That whole time I was talking to everything. Yeah, let's see. Forgotten Realms. Let me do that first. Is he still hiding? God. Dragon is still hiding. People here know the name of Elminster, the wizard who braved the demon web. Some call him the Sage of Shadowdale, others the Great Ober Sorcerer. If anyone can fathom Loth's plans, Elminster will. Yeah. I don't think I've uh, been here at all, so yeah. Yeah, all right. So you're saying uh, War Hospital was the one we wanted to do first? War Hospital's over here somewhere. I should probably talk to these people about. That's an epic one. Epic one. Epic one. All right. And it's. All right. So this is 17. So yeah, I'll be full XP on Elite. Good. So yeah. John Buds, are you joining? Um, let me know your character name. Balloon Guy, let me know your character name. 
and we can get this thing going. You can send me a tell or just put it in Twitch chat, whichever you want to do. I'm on Thelonis. If you want to put it on that channel. Treasure. Just saw that here. Treasure. Invite. I'm not the leader of the party. Titan is leader of the party. And... John, your 18 Ranger wants to join. What is the character name? And are you logged on? I could look for Rangers of 18. There's no level 18, just plain Rangers on. Might as well grab this quest while I'm here, too. That's the heroic only one, isn't it? What level is that? Murder by Night's 19. That one's pretty tough, as I recall. All those werewolves and stuff. Is that the one with the hedge mage? Hedge maze. Oh, you're not a VIP. Well, we can do spinner after this then. You've done the rest of the Lords of Dust, you just need spinner. Oh, that carrot was not good. Oh, that's right, Rift. I forgot about Rift. I have to do Rift as well. I don't have Spinner, so I don't have Rift either. Well, let's let's do this first, and then uh, if everybody is otherwise done with that, we can go to do spinner and uh, beyond. Let's step in and find out. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. There we go. Wow, 
Wow, only 10,000? Oh, that's right, we're on Heroic. That's actually good for Heroic. Well, decent, I guess. And yeah, it's still Streak, so yeah. So 10,000 isn't horrible. The head priest stands across the room. Heavy care, head priest Jaskier says. Take that key. Oh, I suppose we should buff and stuff too. Which wing it opens and Let's see, what do I have in the way of group buffs? Play this character in a little bit, so that and that will do. I have D-Doors, so that's interesting. I didn't take long for that to wear off. Oh, I so, so very much hate wisps. I also hate not having very many hit points. Which is why I want to respect my character. But I want to do it at 20, just do it all the same time, get it all done via the plan. Not do it piecemeal and then forget what I'm doing next to my level. Wow. Yeah, lightning resist, I don't have it. Probably should have uh, got a ship invite from Titan got those uh, old style resist buffs because those help in here quite a bit oh actually I have UMD don't I I forgot I could do that Freaking chain lightning. Yeah, we definitely could use another person in here. It's not a cakewalk. It's not bad, certainly, but it is not a cakewalk either. This wizard has taken ill just like the other patients. Magical might did not protect him. Oh, he's a champion. How about that? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm completely thinking of the wrong character when I'm... I was trying to cleave. <laughs> I've been playing my fighter all night. <laughs> trying to cleave there. Not the same commands. I love any ability in this game that auto-trips somebody when they try to do something to you. Where's that key? Hey, look, a chest. We'll also get monster chunks. That's cool. Oh, the monster chunks. Got the key, key, key. And now here come the friendly guys. Clear, heal thyself. Nobody in this one. I got people in that one already. How about this one? That one's locked. 
Oh hey, monster truck. Does that one count? No, that doesn't count, does it? Unfortunately, the uh, rush shrine's a little bit away. We still have to get through this next part. Oh, you're back. Yeah, this character doesn't have a uh, clicky for res, so. Trying to get some of these guys off of you, but it's not working very well. There we go. I would like to be in your aura to get healed, though. Lightning to the face. I have to go back for another heal. Ah, I hit the wrong button. Come on, you stupid wisp. Oh, nice healing burst. Monster chunks. Any more monster chunks? Is that it? Nope, looks like it. Alright, ready to go to the next part. There are a couple more wisps up there. Definitely prioritize the wisps. Oh yeah. That's it. No, come back down. Come back down. We can't get us. Not been ideal. I highly suggest after we kill this next boss that we all just run back and take the D-door. Actually, I might, I might be able to D-door as we kill the boss. We can D-door and then D-door. That might work too. Oh, this stupid wisp. Finally. Boss is gonna come out. I'm gonna try to trap him. Oh wow! Definitely do not need aggro of him. He is hitting me really hard, and he's just staying on me. Him and the wisps. Whew. I don't mind kiting a bit. Just missed that healing burst, unfortunately. Do you have his aggro now? Good. Now I feel like I might be able to help more. Nope, I got his aggro again. It's just way too hot in there with all those wisps. There we go. Alright. No. Yeah, more wisps. Great. Just kill the boss. As soon as we get the boss down, run. Run. Don't stick around. Book it. At least I took some of the guys down, away from it. They're coming back.
Alright, now we can go get the shrine. Definitely more interesting than just walking through epics, that's for sure. You ready? The quarantine area smells even more strongly like the unhindered growth and decay of some long abandoned garden. Perrin Uth appears. The infection is far more advanced within. And as a result, he is far Wow. Wow. I just stay on him tight. Because if he goes down, then it's much easier to clear up the trash. Ah, much better. generally heal myself and keep up with it if I don't get too much incoming at once. Hold on a second. There is still a patient. And I guess those guys up front did count. Hmm. I didn't think they did. Is there another door here? No, there's a door there. Nobody in there. Hmm. And then if you have a uh, rogue, you can actually go in his office and all that. No? No? Do you have to have a... Hmm. Yeah. Oh well. Success. Didn't take too long. It was exciting. Got some decent XP for it. So do we want to go back and do Spinner and uh, Rift? Yeah. John, you still around? You want to do Spinner?
the... Oh, here we go. Go back and repair real quick while we're waiting for John Bud's response. And then sell. And then maybe see if uh, I get an airship invite once I'm at the portal. So that I can uh, have some more resists. So, Titan, can I get a ship invite, please? We don't keep those old style buffs in stock on ours. I have mail. Uh, 1400 favor, cool. Just in case you have something different than we have, and then go down the cargo hold. Get those delicious old style buffs. Particularly these resistances here. Is anything else stacked down here? Indeed. Just a person who plays DDO who streams. But I did have to upgrade my internet package for it. It was not really doing much for me before I did that. Ah, oh, that's where you buy the stuff. I get it. Yeah, I used to build my own machines anymore. Nah. I've been doing laptops, so not quite the same thing. All right, John Bud's last call. We are ready to do spinner for you. I need spinner anyway, but. Join us in Spinner and Beyond the Rift and then Evening Star will be opened as long as you've done Lords of Dust and um, was it Servants of the Overlord is the other one? Yeah, Lords of Dust here and then Servants of the Overlord. That reminds me, I saw that uh, balloon T-Rex somebody did the other day. That was pretty cool. Oh, does that kill my bravery bonus? No, I will earn it, but no, because Titan's here. Titan's 19. That would kill my bravery bonus, wouldn't it? Oh, well. Oh, 
don't know. Uh, it was a picture that I saw on Twitter. Um, I think Perkysaurus posted it. I'm not sure. I retweeted it. Let me see if I can find it again. Yeah, here we go. Um, Weird Science posted on March 14th. It looks like it fills the room, or at least floor to ceiling. Looks like it may be in a hotel or convention center. Uh, let's see. I just love copying URLs by hand from a different device. All right, let's see if that worked. Yep, I posted the URL in Twitch chat. Copying URLs and text and opening things. Let's see. Okay, Howie the Balloon Guy, you said Balloon Manor. And the other one is Fantastic Flying Octopus. Fantastic Flying Octopus. Okay, I will look at this later, but at least I have the tabs open right now for them. And let's see, John. One more time, John Buds. Are you going to join us for Spinner? Might want to try to get another person or two, maybe. That's cool. So it's kind of old, huh? happened to see that a couple days ago. I thought it was pretty neat. Ah, uh, good. LFM is up. So if you're on Thelonis and you're somewhere in the 17 to 19 range, you want to do Spinner of Shadows, the LFM is up under Titan 1. Forty feet in length, I didn't catch that part the first time. Wow. I thought it looked pretty big.
that's cool. Yeah, that's the thing that's lacking is, I mean, you can tell it's, you know, like in a hotel or convention center, but you can't really see. There's no person there to kind of give it that extra, oh, wow, that is big kind of thing. Looking at your photo gallery now. I would hope it wins something. That is awesome. Let's see. Am I on the right thing? Do, do, do. Hello. Select. There you go. That's an impressive hat there. Wow. That's neat. Oh, I like the bridge. Bridge is cool. What's that one? Person. Look like a big Pegasus dispenser. Wow, that's a big hat too. 46 balloon hat. Some cool stuff. Race car. <laughs> I like the face in the car. In the vet. <laughs> that car is neat. Under own body. What's the other one? Like an exoskeleton suit or something? That's neat. Oh, I love the Hulk fists. That's awesome. <laughs> See, a balloon guy was just sharing some of his stuff. Uh, yeah, email should be on screen. Uh, what is it set up? Let's see, email. Just copy and paste from the box. There we go. All right. Well, maybe people. Well, I don't know how many we're going to get since you're over level. It's going to knock XP down. We can give it a shot, though. Yeah, there's his URL. Blue guy was just sharing uh, some of his his work. It's pretty interesting. Definitely check out the photos and see some really interesting stuff. All right. Oh, time for plot. Let's 
Let's see. Not that I need that, but might as well put it on anyway. Yeah, we go ahead. We went ahead and stepped in, so let's give it a shot. I don't know how successful we're going to be. But we should try it. Uh, it won't disrupt my street. That's cool. So I'm still getting my 80% and my 50% and my 20%. <laughs> I'm still getting 18k, which isn't horrible. Just not getting the uh, streak bonus on top of everything. Yeah, that's not cool. That's not too bad. And I don't know what else I can do here. I don't think dancing is going to work very well. His row is going to be interesting. Ahead, a Rakshasa and a company of drow are arguing over a pile of dragon shards. Strange glowing spiders are locked in battle with some kind of spirit made up of absorbing them into their bodies as they attack. Shadow struggles against her weakening bonds, while below the spiders consume the last of the flames, and you find yourself unable to move. The spinner of shadows has broken free. At last, I am free from that disgusting flame. You have finally done my bidding, vassals. I see that you have brought me the dragon shards that she needs. 
Though I also see that you have allowed some pests to follow you inside. The demon overlord glares down at you with contempt. The stink of Emeron is on you mortals. I will turn my attention to your world in due time. But for now, it pleases me to let you live. Someone must witness my return and survive. Destroy these intruders, my lady! One of the Rakshasas growls. We will report your glorious release to the world. Now let us leave this place. You must help us release the other demon overlords. I will do no such thing. Now that I am free, I have no need for the other overlords. Or for you tedious lords of dust. Not when she awaits me. Now be gone! A burst of blue flame suddenly erupts in front of the demon. The spinner of shadow screams and scuttles back into the darkness. You feel her grasp on you slip as the silver flame guardian speaks. Hold, demon. You have not escaped yet. Some of the flame still burns here. The silver flame guardian speaks. We have driven her back, but it will not last. Destroy her spiders. They have consumed the essence of the silver flame that holds her here. If you can light the wards again, she will be imprisoned once more. of the silver flame whispers in your mind. Many spiders have burrowed underground, yet they can feel the spinner's pain. Hurt her and drive them up. You know, if I'm muted, you can't hear me. Did you know that? Once again, I was double muted. I took one of them off and not the other. voice echoes from the shadows above. Demons of Kyber, hear my call. Protect my children. Nope. That's frustrating. I brought friends. him down. Those count as arrows for deflection purposes, which is awesome. so far and we need uh, my, uh, my evil is stunning them 36 that's cool every time I vorpal with, with a smite it stuns them that is handy probably want to go this so way talk, am I gonna hear myself echo? usually So did, was I on mute when I said thanks for the photo and was laughing at the scene? I probably was, wasn't I? Because that was pretty neat. Oh, these guys. One, two, 
bringing them back to the center. And along with her. Wow. Oh, now he's loving. Fireballs. He waits until we're actually uh, fighting her. The spinner of shadows decides to change tactics. Oh, good. Yeah, that was pretty cool. The decap. Yeah, I want to zoom it later. I just saw it on my phone. I want to bring it up on my computer so I can get it bigger and actually see more of it. But. That was pretty neat from what I saw. Oh. I'll try to get this Hezzer off of you. But we really need to get. Oh, there's another one. Darn it. I really need to get those spiders off the spinner, too. There's three Hezra on you, wow. Yeah, we definitely need to kill these spiders. Whoa. Didn't see my hit points going down. Well, I seem to have got their attention at least. Hazro Slayer. Nice. Exterminator in the um, monster manual. Yeah. Isn't there usually another wave with those guys? There's one. Yep, they're starting again. Hey, somebody else joined. That's cool. Wouldn't mind a little bit of help. Uh, I've got a Hezro and a couple spiders going at the moment. Some of the spiders are champions, you can't really tell at first. They are champions. I'm still at night. Hey, some else joined. Wow. Time for you to finish Decent time. Towards. The demon chuckles in the shadows. An amusing game, mortals. But you are out of time. I grow stronger and your allies dwindle. We end it now. Yep, there's Hezzer Exterminator for me. And Hezzer Expertise. I got uh, whatever that gives you. And uh, I have a little fun me, so I need to run. We're going to do Beyond the Rift um, after the gloom. Need some help with her in the middle. I will do the shards. In the head's room. And this is damage at a speed I can deal with. She tends to burst a little harder than I can handle. 
Or if there's multiple hazards on me like now. It's, I can't quite keep up. That's the reason I want to respect this character a bit. Fix some of that. My abysmally low hit points. I need to do some green steel hit point thing, probably, to help with that. I should have about 11 at the moment. We need, what, 36? so I can light three. All right, we'll just do it so we know what we have. That we don't collect more than necessary. Which is a real danger. Great, champion Hezro. Oh, he's almost gone. There we go. Another Hezro Exterminator and more XP, which I always enjoy. Yeah, I'm out of crystals now, so uh, definitely need to go get more. Pretty nice. Oh, has a rope. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, champion Spider. Step between two Hezro and Champion Spider. That's awesome. So yeah, this is why you wait till the end to light all the tor all the uh, torches because you get a lot more Hezro if you don't. I'm definitely noticing the difference from normal. Well, I can cut him through this, maybe. I'm out of swap points. Awesome. So on a scale of well to not well, I said it's going okay. And that we could possibly be doing it a little bit better, but we're holding on. I have one crystal at the moment. How many crystals do we need? We only need like eight more. I'm assuming nothing's on me. I'm going to try to get my spell points back real quick. Maybe some health. Whew. This is definitely a lot more interesting than uh, the normal just walking through stuff on epics. Stuff's happening. And 
uh, gotta react to it. Definitely need foam. That's not gonna hurt. Go ahead and displace while we're at it. Get up here where people are. Do a haste. Hello, spider. How are you? It's two. I need two more. Try to go back over here and get those two more. Look for the stupid demons. It'd be fine. There's demons back here. So if I bring the spiders this way, maybe I'll have the opportunity to get them. Force the hazard out to somebody else, maybe. No. I need one more crystal. I've got three. And that'll do. Did you get it? We're done. Alright. <sighs> so I'll take most of my UI off so you can be blinded by the white. <sighs> if you're a game dev, please never go full white. Wrong with black. Black's fine. Go full black screen, but full white screen so very bright. Hello to some of the other people I see lurking. Don't need to call you out. Just uh, appreciate you stopping by and checking out the stream. Oh, there's treasure bag I can't get. Oh, can I? before the divine belly button. <laughs> Understand that spasms. Nothing wrong with lurking. Appreciate you saying something though. I like the interactivity of Twitch, so. Although I understand lurking, I do that a lot in lots of channels. I uh, do like the interactivity as well, especially when I'm the one streaming. Oh, here we go. Put your sunglasses on again. Awesome, John. Yeah, no problem. Just glad you made it in. We were trying to wait for you for a while, but... Also got to keep things going. Being live on stream. Yeah, no problem, Spasms. I do that a lot as well. I know that Skunk and some others do as well. Just sort of have something else, have a Twitch stream on for background while you're doing your own thing. That's cool. So another almost 23k out of that. Not bad. Got one pip on 18. So there's that. We have a chest blesser. Balloon guy's character here is a chest blesser, so there's that. And let's see. I don't need any loot in here, so I'll just pass it on.
That's odd. Um, I could use the docent if anyone got. What's the uh, timer on the chest blessing? I don't. I don't need the crossbow. I'm curious how soon you can bless the other chests. All that. more look at look at uh, twitch chat yeah I saw it I should check our we have a couple boxes of mac and cheese should check that just to see so my cons 19 <laughs> well let me tell you a story I once was eating at a Chinese buffet and I got some lo mein and uh, there was a one of those industrial size box staples that uh, was in my domain. Luckily, I saw it before I tried to eat it, because that would not be uh, that would not be fun. And uh, I was very unsatisfied with their response when I took it up to them and showed them, like, oh, yeah, that happens sometimes. They actually said it like that. Oh, yeah, that happens sometimes. Like, it's no big deal. Like, dude, there that's a huge freaking staple. Uh, hold on. Heart, sorry for that. Yeah, sorry for blow your ears out there. I forgot. I always forget about that. And then I'm there. I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to remind people to watch out for that first noise is really loud. I was actually just wondering right now why I wasn't getting any uh, comms. Is it my rewards list? I forgot I'm on heroic. That's why. So yeah, that's my story about metal things in my food. I actually uh, called the health inspectors on them because I didn't think that should ever happen, let alone them be so blasé about it. I was really not happy with them for that. Not much loot. That might be interesting to use on my uh, rogue. So I might keep that. I don't have anybody up here with that. Needs any other stuff, I don't think. Now oh, these old style buffs, I forgot how they uh, run out. Don't use them very often. And hi, hello to WO2 Soundwave. Thanks for stopping by and watching the stream. And I see Rikivs is in. Welcome back. While we're here waiting, uh, people are repairing and such, so I will go ahead and once again do my personal promo. I do have my own Twitch channel. Um, I'm part of the community stream team that streams on the official DDO stream channel here. But uh, I don't do that all the time. I don't always stream DDO, although I do a lot. I stream some other stuff on Steam and PS4 now and again. I also have my YouTube, where I archive all of my live streams, where I, particularly on DDO stream, but I have some other personal live streams and other miscellaneous videos up. I'm on Twitter, I have my own site, and then there's my Steam ID as well. Um, so yeah. I am around other places as well, and all of us on the community stream team, we do appreciate that you follow our, our personal channels as well as DDO stream, and uh, watch us whenever, wherever, however you can. Uh, it's fun doing streaming and interacting with people, so that's f part of the joy here. And then here on DDO stream, um, the schedule is actually below the video if you're on 
the computer. If you're on a mobile device, if you tap the video and then tap the I information button, it, you'll see the description where the schedule is there. But here it is on screen as well. Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with more coming soon. Um, and if the video is not playing on this channel, there is a new graphic up that has the schedule as well. Makes it easy to find. So keep that in mind that DDO stream is pretty happening throughout the week. Titan and I are the two that tend to stream the longest, I think. Um, we usually go oh, four plus hours. Sometimes we can do it shorter, but um, a lot of other streams are shorter. Just whatever people feel like doing, really. Um, I do know there are people starting hopefully soon that are in the works. And uh, Cordovan tomorrow will be on Galanda. And if you haven't heard, Update 25 preview on Lamania, including Temple of Elemental Evil, should be... Uh, it's targeted for Thursday, so hopefully Thursday or Friday it'll be on Lamania if you want to check that out. Alright, back to where it looks like some of us are here waiting. The Sawagan found Yay! Me. Thank you for following. I don't know who it is yet, but thank you very much for following. Love having that sound. It's one of the most amusing sounds in the game. Voices in the game, I think. And you hear it. Ninth Pawn. Thank you very much for the follow. So yeah, if you uh, just want to uh, a voice in the hear that again, you can uh, hit the follow on my channel. That's uh, Twitch TV slash Cmorgu, and you will hear that lovely Lars Hayden yeah, sound clip again. Here, I'm thinking, what brings ye into the demon web? You must have come through the rift that she made. The yeah, but by the time the sound goes off and I hear it, I have to go look at my other screen and wait the 20 seconds for it to appear there, and then I say it, and then 20 seconds later you hear it. So I don't have a notification that shows up on my screen directly when it happens. Hey, not Ninth Pawn. Cool, glad you enjoy it. We are in the realm of the vile goddess Loth. She and her sister, the Spinner of Shadows, are the source of thy current troubles. Come on, I want to do your thing. There we go. Now we can continue. It was possible for me to come here because Loth let her guard slip when the rift opened, and I cannot easily leave the demon web until she slips again. And I am here most Tuesdays, as far as I know. That will continue for the near future. There is a chance that uh, I will get a new job and I will not be able to do Tuesdays and I'll have to switch to something else, but at the moment this is what we got. Hark! The hunched creatures ahead make some strange and disgusting sounds as they root the old bones. Oh yeah, I forgot buffs. That would be useful. I need them. Other people not, may not need them so much, but I really do. There's no seat. So have get timers countdown while we're waiting for Mr. Piker to get his butt in gear and let us in. So, you know. This is the only tolerable demon web quest, and even it is barely. I do not like this area. I'll admit it is really neat. I like that it's here, and I like the uh, different gravity effects and stuff. That's cool. But as far as actually playing through here, it's just really confusing, and I don't like it. I hardly ever do the other quests out here in the Demon Web, just because they're hard to find. I haven't even done the Explorers, and I've done pretty much all the other Explorers. Uh, but I just get frustrated here, and I don't enjoy running aimlessly around 
this particular area. So, it's another one I don't play very often. Even in epics, I don't play it very often. Get back here. You. Alright, fine. Oh, now I'm stuck. Like how that spider's looks like it's jeeping it on the rock. Gravity effects here are pretty cool, I will say. It's a very different area. Completely different feel from a lot of the other areas, and that's neat. But, uh, yeah. Don't really have fun playing in here too often. Monster chunks. Center of the demon web is a vast structure that can only be Lord's Lair. Okay, in here you can jump off the edge and you'll reappear in a different area, and that's fine. And then if you follow the torches, or the or you see everything's blue and the torches are type of yellow brownish kind of light, um, that will lead you into where you need to go. That's the general guidelines for surviving the demon web, particularly in this quest. This quest is kind of linear, so it's not horrible. Um, there are a couple branches, but they're not too bad usually. In the distance, the spinner of shadows scuttles along the demon web, intent on some errand of her own. That's why I say I don't like this. One of the reasons I don't like this area is just it's confusing. It's easy for people to get lost in, and uh, just not a great experience. But it is one of the more unique areas. I do like that about it. I don't think anybody needs a shrine, really. I mean, we can, but. Did the caught in the web the other night and got three drops, which was pretty cool. But I actually got two drops and I rolled for one and one, and then I rolled for one or two others and lost. So that was pretty neat. Get my couple more drops of that. I think I got some comms too. Oh, there's that dredge that always gets stuck in the stupid web. Oh, no monster chunks out of that one. And, uh, yeah, that went weird. Thought I was following everybody, and then all of a sudden, turns out I'm not. I went up the ledge you're not supposed to go up to, because I haven't had that quest, but, like, a handful of times. Maybe three. And it's quite a long time between runs, so I don't usually... Oh, I didn't want to hit that one. I want to hit that one. There we go. See some people join. Hello? Thanks for watching. You're not too far back, Titan. I presume that's you. Yeah. So like in this area, you can look around, you can see blue, 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 brown. So you probably need to go that way. The yellowish brown areas are where you need to go. On a distant shard of the demon web, Loth greets the spitter of shadows. It is time 
my sister. The dragon shards are in place. So let us begin. Watch the plot over the side there. I promise you power beyond imagining. I might do one more, or I might call it here. Let's see, we still have to do all the Yeah, I'm probably going to call it after this quest. Um, it's going on five hours here of streaming. And uh, that's a good night. I don't really feel the need to go too much beyond that. I can try and see if it'll work. Sometimes my musical ball does work. Not always. If nothing else, it should slow the uh, trenches down a bit. Chess blesser, your turn. No, chess blesser. Oh well. Some people don't remember. We have a chess blesser around. It, they're kind of rare. I've only had a handful of times where I've had a chess blesser in the party, so I understand you know, forgetting. Oh yeah, we have one of those, don't we? Oh, hi cat. How you doing? Could you not claw your way up my couch, please? You find yourself in a vast cavern of stone deep below the surface. If you are to find Elminster, you must first make an escape vast of the ocean. That spider being a jerk up on the wall there. Who's back there? No, oh, Titan's back there. Titan. Can... He's done this often enough. He should be able to find his own way. I got spoiled by that weekend where we had a double chance to Oh, the fireball of whiskey in uh, Canada uh, um, is being recalled because it has an ingredient that is close to um, antifreeze. Hey, Skunk, welcome back. So yeah, I actually like this part of the quest, even though it's, it's still confusing. I still don't find it nearly as bad as the other part in the actual demon web itself, so I actually like this Underdark part better the demon web part of this quest. I don't do a lot of Underdark quests either. Yeah, I thought that was just me, but I guess we are lagging. Right, which way are we going? I forget. Is it that way? Is this way for a rare, or is this way not the way to go? I don't remember. Seems like the way to go to rare.
Yeah, somebody else is going to have to lead who knows where they're going because I forget how to get through here. No, this looks like the right way. Because there's, there should be spell words up here, right? Yep. Um, let's see. I love that. Slowly reducing the spell <laughs> ward. CR. Spelling the spell ward. I love that. <laughs> Probably gonna have to rest after this, but at least I can do something. This is the reason I got greater spell magic, because normally I wouldn't use it, but. To help me get by spell wards? Um, Why not? Mordecai's disjunction can do that too. Yay, one down. I don't know if there's any others, so I wanted to wait until we... Okay. If there's no others, then I should be good. But it does 1 to 8 levels instead of 1 to 4. For what, skunk? Let's see, I have that, 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 I hate that. That's why I don't run a lot of stuff. Oh, is great. If I eat mac and cheese as well. I need to go check. That. Yeah, like if I'm but doing rarely, though. Giant Hold or Underdark or something that I don't know well, I have to have a map to uh, know where I'm going. And a lot of times I just don't feel like the hassle is worth it, so I don't do it. And a party's not going to wait on me, so... That's why I don't do a lot of the stuff that I don't know, because it just... You know? Sometimes I don't want to have to refer to a map to get to the quests. And oftentimes, especially in Giant Hold, that by the time I get out there, figure out which teleporter I need to use, and get out there and find the quest... Oh, guess what? They're already done with the quest, so I might as well not have bothered. So that's why I don't write dry hold stuff a lot. Dean was sort of similar. On those things, if I get in when the party starts and I can follow everybody, that's different. But a lot of times, you know, you can't do that, so... Hopefully everybody can survive those spell boards. I mean, I'll often pull it up on my tablet or something, or my other laptop, but still, it's just a big pain. Even with Explorers done, it's still a big pain. I much prefer when you can get really close <laughs> With the teleporter. Later. 
I really need some resonance on this character. So I can do more damage with my shouts and such. Does anybody actually need that? I don't think we even need to do that. If we don't need it, there's no sense me sitting here for five minutes displaying spell words. Well, we can check for it. Once again, you see the now familiar. I don't mind checking for the optional. Hey, uh, see Morgan, can you do the uh, the traps? Because you know, thirty percent. Local spider population. You can dispel them. We can wait. You know. But that's a lot of dispelling. For not much benefit. And plus, I don't think I want to wait that long. Oh, well, I knocked it down a bit. I just take it he's not there, so we'll just go back this way. This quest has a lot of spell wards. If there were more than one of us doing it, that would be different. Are we going to kill these spiders that are coming up on us? We probably should. Blueberry is a good idea. Right now is when I miss my wall of fire. Let them come through that wall of fire towards us. I'll take them out, no problem. The other problem is that my spot isn't that great. There's one. I'm not going to have enough spell points to do them all. That's going to be the deciding factor right there. At 30 per... And it takes several each. That's cool, skunk. Okay, where's another one? Somebody face tank another trap for me. Now there's one. These are like level 20s. I can do four at a time, so I'm average two and a half. I might get this one down. Hey, K Wizard, if I had known I was going to need this, maybe I could have done that. But didn't really think about it. And that's all I can do. Where? Did you bless all that stuff? <laughs> that's pretty cool. You can bless all that stuff and get some much better loot out of it. So Kiwi Zero, thank you for the suggestion, but that requires prep that I don't didn't do, so. Did you bless this chest up here yet? Balloon guy, treasure, whichever. Oh thanks. Spell points. Loot, 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 loot. Yeah. Some loot. Warlock is coming maybe in the update after 
25, which is Temple of Elemental Evil. So Temple of Elemental Evil is targeted to be on Lamania by the end of the week. Um, that's all we have at the moment. And then hopefully within the month after that, it'll be on live. Barring any major issues, I would guess. And then Warlock at some point after that. Uh, no direct confirmation on a specific timeline or anything that I've heard. But it is one of the next things they're working on. And of course, you can see in the forums where the rogue pass is happening at some point. Such thing and such like, so. Things are happening. You mean to get out of there? I did not actually get that off. Oh well. You really need to quicken your disco balls. See, I really don't know much about Warlock, and I honestly don't see the point in them. I don't see what's so different about them that isn't covered by one of the existing casters or monk. Because from what I read, it seems like they're just a different kind of monk, like a sort of mage monk combination thing. Yay! Another almost 25k. Almost got another pip on my. Uh, Thing in there. Just bless. Bless in her chest and yay. Open up to. I mean, I, I just briefly read about Warlock, and that's what it sounded like. It's like okay, they're sort of like melee, but they have this. Force burst thing that sounds like a more like a monk thing, and uh, but they can sort of cast stuff too. I don't, I don't know. I just don't get a warlock. Some call him the Sage of Shadowdale. Others, the Great Over Sorcerer. If anyone plans, Elminster will. Not necessarily looking forward to that because I don't understand it, but I am looking forward to having a new class and trying it out. So, warlock has that. all the uh, SLA abilities. Warlocks have all those SLA things. So thanks everybody for running that. Um, and thanks everybody for watching. That's what my sorcerer is, though. My sorcerer uses SLAs all the time and hardly uses anything else. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't understand it. Nothing I've seen or read makes it any different than anything that already exists, I guess, is what I'm saying. I don't understand what is so different about them. Anyway, I am definitely stopping for the night here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, thanks for those who ran with me. John Buds, Balloon Guy. Titan. Anybody else who happened to be on that uh, was in the party, I didn't catch it. They were on Twitch as well. Thank you very much. Um, I am here most Tuesdays starting at 5 p.m. Central. Oh, to answer your question, Titan, uh, his the dragon's light went off for the night. It's on a timer. That's why you're not seeing anything in the dragon cam anymore. So I'll go ahead and close that. So that's useless. All right. And um, yeah, so anyway, thanks, everybody. I appreciate follows on DDO stream and my own YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and all that. Uh, if you want to find out when I am streaming or when more people are streaming on DDO stream, you know, there's always that. Uh, thanks, Night Pond, for the follow. Um, 
I don't remember who the other fellow was earlier, but thank you for that as well. Uh, there's still time. If you follow me on Twitch TV slash Morgan, you can still hear uh, Lars Hayton say, oh no, the swagon found me uh, before I stop for the night. And unfortunately, somebody just joined the channel. Sorry, you joined just in time for me to go off. Hey, is there anybody streaming DDO right now that we can uh, do a raid on? Since ratings are, raids are a thing on Twitch, I don't know off the top of my head. But uh, let's see if I can find out real quick. Because that would be fun. I've never actually done a raid. And there are several people watching. So according to Twitch, uh, let's do Gemini166. Say greetings from DDO stream. Does everybody know how to raid, raid works? I, I suppose I should have asked that. Hi, DDO bomb's fine too. I like DDO bomb. Let's do that. DDO bomb. Gem and I one six six. DDO bomb from Simorgu. How about that? So what you do is you go over there to Twitch TV, Gemini166, and you type DDO bomb from Simorgu as your message once you're over there. That's how a raid works. And I suppose I should go over there as well and see what happens, because that's fun. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Um, please go ahead and go over to Gemini166 and do the DDO bomb raid. Start whenever you're ready. Anytime after now, you hear this, and uh, let's see how successful we can be. Something from... And we've got a couple people. Kind of went slow, but hey, uh, there we go. Successful raid. Yay. I'm happy. It worked. Good night, all. Thanks. That was a fun raid. <laughs>